In this video, we'll look at the steps that you should take to rationalize the denominator. We have three separate fractions. The first one is 5 over the square root of 3. And the meaning of rationalizing the denominator is to make it so that the denominator has only rational numbers. So square roots are irrational, irrational numbers. So we want to get rid of the square roots. That's what it means by rationalizing the denominator. Get rid of the square root. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, an easy way to do this, if you have a square root in the denominator, just multiply by that same root. Or if it's the third root or the fifth root, multiply by that, that root. But this is just the square root, so we'll multiply both the top and the bottom because you can't just multiply just the top or just the bottom. Now, the square root of 3 over the square root of 3 is just 1, so that's why we can just do that. We can just multiply by 1 anytime we want. Well, what happens in the denominator? The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is just 3. And in the numerator, we have 5 square roots of 3. In the denominator, we have 3. So that is the answer to to this first one. That's the simplifying, and in algebra, typically, we like to have our denominators rationalized. We don't like to have um, uh, radical signs in the denominator, or square root signs in the denominator. So next one, we don't have to multiply by the 2, because only the square root of 3 is, is in the, uh, the radical there. So again, I am going to run through this, multiply both the top and the bottom by the square root of 3, because that is the radical here. And square root of 7 times the square root of 3 gives us now the square root of 21. And in the denominator, we have 2 times 3. 2 times, and then the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is just 3. So I'm just going to show that. Then the next step is the square root of 21 still in the numerator. We can't simplify that anymore. And 6 in the denominator. So square root of 21 over 6. And we're done with that one. We have rationalized the denominator. This next one is a little bit trickier because we've got a uh, two different terms you could think of it as. Uh, and you can't just multiply by the square root of 2 because then you would have 6 times the square root of 2. So that's why we have to pull another trick here. And it's actually called a conjugate. Uh, you could just think of this as multiply by the same thing with, with a different sign. So if it's a minus sign here, we're going to multiply by the same thing with a plus sign. So square root of 2 plus 6 over the square root of 2 plus 6. Now, what happens is I'm going to multiply this numerator, 4 times the square root of 2 and 4 times 6, and that gives 4 square roots of 2 plus 24 in the numerator. In the denominator, this is a, a product of a sum and a difference. So what we have in the denominator is the square root of 2 squared minus 6 squared. That's, that's the way it works out. You can work do FOIL. To, uh, to see that that does work, but ultimately that's, that's what we get because the, the middle terms cancel out. We get 6 square roots of 2 minus 6 square roots of 2 when you multiply those. So this is what you have left. So I'll rewrite that in the next step. So we have, I'm going to change direction of these. Typically we write the rational number first. So 24 plus 4 square roots of 2 over 4, I'm sorry, I'm over 2, square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is just 2, 2 minus 36. So in the denominator, we're go going to have something negative. And so we have 24 plus 4 square roots of 2 over negative 34. Now you're, th you're thinking, hey, can we cancel something out there? Absolutely, we sure can. So we're going to do that. We're going to cancel out a 2 out of everything that we can. So that makes that 12, that makes that 2, that makes this negative 17. So in the end, we get negative 12 minus 2 square roots of 2 over 17. Now all I did on that same step, I, I moved the negative sign up to the, the numerator. And that's another common a standard way of, of writing things in, in algebra. All right, there we go, rationalizing the denominator.